are you on the fence about whether you should sell and what the right time is for when you should buy and sell your home because you've been on the fence for so long, just watching the market, what it's doing, the high rates and inventory, and you're not sure when it is to make a right move. Well, today I'm here to share with you some enlightening news with recent statistics out from January 2024 from the National Association of Realtors. And I think you'll really like what I have to say. So stick with me. I am Melissa Shaw of Lewis Realtors, offering you 20 years of expertise in the real estate industry. And what I'm going to share with you today, I really hope it brings you some encouragement and direction to so listen up. On a national level, pending sales decreased 4.9%. However, what's really showing resilient, the, the regions that are showing resiliency in the United States is the Northeast region and the West region. The South and the Midwest region have shown, you know, a moderate decline in the seven to eight percent, whereas the West region and the Northeast region are, are stabilizing. They're seeing um, a modest amount of um, home sales still that are in the positive direction. Lawrence Young even went to say, who is the chief economist of the National Association of Realtors, said that the data is really, the statistics is really starting to indicate that we're definitely heading into a market of equal supply and demand. Okay. And now nationally, also the inventory um, average is three months supply. So basically what that means is nationally, as a nation, we're heading into a very neutral market. Anything between zero and three months is more geared and favored towards a seller. And then anything in the three to four, five month period is a very neutral market. Then above that is more of a, a, a buyer's market. So we're definitely heading into a more neutral buyer and seller's market. Well, what does this allow you to do knowing this information? You've been on the fence for quite some time about the right time to make a move. Well, the right time is in your favor right now. Why? Because in a neutral market, you're more likely to get contingencies accepted. So if you need the funds from your home to sell, you're more likely going to see um, sellers accept a home to sell or home to close contingency, you're still seeing amazing appreciation. In fact, nationally, the average is up still 6.3%, 6.3%. In COVID days, it was, you know, record, record breaking, but still you're continuing to see uh, increase in appreciation in your most valued asset your home. Now, if we take a break here and we head over to the local market where I happen to be in the Portland, Oregon and Vancouver uh, metro markets in Washington, we're seeing a similar, similar outcome, especially since we're in the West region. So nationally, the West region's looking good. And in the Portland, Oregon market, what we're seeing is month after month, new listings, for January 2024, um, we've seen an uptick, an increase of 0.2%. Now that's not really surprising because we're coming off the holidays and December months. Um, so I, I would kind of expect that, right? Um, but pending sales are actually down and I would kind of expect that as well because um, not as many people are looking through the holiday season, right? But your inventory, you're at 3.2 months of inventory. So again, a very neutral um, supply of buyer and seller demand. Um, and the price, our prices in the Portland, Oregon area have sustained a 5.9 as of January increase um, year over year. So we're, it's, it's really looking encouraging. You're sitting in a great position. Now, if we head on over to the river, over the river to Vancouver, Washington, we're sitting in a very similar situation where um, new listings are up 2.2%, um, which is a little higher, more listings coming on the market. Pending sales are down 
um, quite significantly. So um, there's a little bit of a shift there and closed sales are down 2.5%. Again, not surprising coming off Christmas, um, holiday seasons and things like that, but we do expect these numbers to increase. So stay tuned for future monthly real estate series, national and local market updates. Um, and again, in the Portland and, and Vancouver, Washington areas, we're seeing inventory in the Vancouver market as well, still sitting at that 3.2%, um, 3.2 months, I should say, of inventory. Um, so again, a very neutral, neutral market. And again, this is a great time if you're looking to get off that fence, make a move, whether it's into um, downsizing, you're wanting to recoup some of your equity and move into a vacation home, reinvest. It's, it's really a great time where you're not going to be seeing a lot as much competition depending on the market, depending on the local market that you're in, and more specifically, the city and the neighborhood. So that's really where I come in as your neighborhood expert is reach out to me because it does make a difference. There is certain pockets. These are just averages. Um, it's not the staple to live by. And that's where I can come in as your real estate expert of 20 plus years and give you the local statistics, real time ground on the hours where I can weigh in and I can help give you the statistics to strategize for your next move. With the constant market shifts, you need an expert real estate advisor in your corner. So contact me today so we can strategize what's best for your next move in your home.